let's understand what is set timeout method in javascript this method belongs to the window object so we can write set timeout like this this method takes two parameters first is the function you want to execute let's say i want to execute a function called show message which we are going to create in a moment and you want to call this function show message after 2000 milliseconds that is after two seconds you want to call now this window object is a global object in the browser so we don't write window all the times right so because set timeout becomes a global method as window is the top most object in the browser so window is a global object we don't write window dot set timeout we just say set timeout straight away now we can just write this function let me create the function uh, show message I'll say show message and of course I'm going to put one line there saying console dot log and I'll say timed out not tuned out it is timed out all right so let's run this and see what happens after two seconds you will see that the message timed out is displayed so this method executes a process after given number of milliseconds but remember it does not repeat the process if you want to repeat the process then you have to use set interval which is again the part of window object so it's a global method so you don't write window dot set timeout or window dot set interval another thing the same thing you can write with a different syntax also in the set timeout I can have an anonymous function a function without a name and I'm writing straight away so generally we can call this as inline anonymous function right because we are not giving a name and writing it with the set timeout let's say I write a console.log here and I'll say new timed out right and along with this I'll put a semicolon and I'm going to remove this function now I'll clear the console once again and click on the run button you will see that after two seconds new timed out is displayed so in short the set timeout function is such a function where you can give a function name that will be a reference to the function or directly the function and you give number of milliseconds it executes it once and then it does not repeat it right so any process which you feel that you want to execute after certain uh, certain milliseconds that is seconds you can write set timeout but then it will not repeat it 